Good morning everybody on YouTube. This is Sunday and today I'm going to uh, take a look at this uh, Ampex uh, VR7500 color black and white machine. Uh, this is the one that has the screwed up head spindles and the uh, 5100 which was even worse. The motors and everything were all burnt up and seized on that unit. So that machine was a complete piece of junk so I had to strip that one out. But I did keep this uh, VR7500. This one is a very big possibility of fixing. Um, I did locate the spindle for this thing, uh, for the drum. So we got that coming. But uh, this thing has a lot of issues. So basically, we're going to walk through a little of the problems this thing has and give you a good idea. This is the VR7500. It's a color Ampex machine. As you can see, it's not easy. It's been sitting in a barn. It's very, very dirty. <laughs> very, uh, got a really funky smell to it, but it's been sitting in a barn. They broke the video head out on this thing. They broke the spindle out on this thing. That's a problem I'll tackle at another point, but I do want to salvage this machine because this is a very rare machine and I think it could be fixed. Anyways, we got it out of its case. As you can see, we got a lot of dried out capacitors. Some are even leaking. Uh, one here, here. All these, these canned capacitors, they'll have to be changed out. They are leaking uh, from very humid climates or wherever this thing was stored. These capacitors are really bad. You can see they're actually seeping out of the side of the cans. Probably because of the you know, shed or wherever this thing was stored at some point. So the capacitors should be changed out. But, as you can see, I got it open, and I'm shooting, shooting the front panel where all the video signal panels are and various other things, but the capacitors, these orange drops, these usually last forever. You really never really have a problem with those. It's always the electrolytic cans, which there's not a lot of them, but if I salvage this machine, I want to change all those out for sure. Um, also, when you get behind the back of the unit, there's not really much to it. The motors are free spinning, thank God. They are not locked up. They do spin. That's good. All the motors are spinning, so they're loose and free. It's got great belts on it. The belts are in great shape. It's not all beat to crap. Um, but then again, I was looking at all the electronics on this. It's got some pretty good electronics that seems to be not any real big issues, but the capacitors will definitely be an issue. I don't think these motor caps that's on these are bad. These kind of last for a long time. They don't really go bad. It, 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 it's just, you know, I've seen these things on, on units like this that last forever. So I'm not really too concerned about the motor run caps. But there is other caps on this thing i got to be concerned about. Um, i got a speaker cap here, which there's some other caps below it that need to be changed. Um, so anyways, but here's the power supply cap. When I plugged this thing in and powered it up, man, oh man, this thing started getting hot. This resistor was getting hot like crazy. And of course, if you look at it, it's got two can caps with another cap down there. These are completely dried out, these caps. So this power, power supply, I think I'm gonna rebuild uh, because it'll come in handy if I need it for the other machine that I got coming. Because I don't know what the condition that is. Probably way better than this one, I know that. So it's good to have a machine that you could pop out the parts on and, and and change out the bad components and be able to pop them in the best machine. But anyways, these can caps are going to have to be changed without question. This one down here is going to have to be changed. And a lot of other ones, if I restore this machine completely, I'll have to do a pretty big order on capacitors to change them out because, yeah, they're not in great shape by any state of the imagination. This is a very, very old machine. Uh, from 1967 so yeah it's got the 1967 age to it but I was surprised that all the round belts on this thing are in excellent condition including the rubber tires they're really clean and not cracked the motors spin the motors spin all the motors are spin and use and, and they they there's no real big issue there I mean they do spin so that's a that's a good sign so um uh, I don't know. I just I I don't think we're gonna have that big of a problem getting this one to run if I restore this particular one. It depends on the machine I got coming. Hopefully it's in better shape than this one is. But 
from the two machines, you know, like I said, with no broken parts, it's very, it's not that big of a deal to restore. You just have to change out a lot of caps. The capacitors are going to be the biggest issue with this machine. So, anyways, guys, here's the power supply, and of course, it slides in on a, on a card on this unit, which is pretty funny considering how old this thing is. But it does need new capacitors. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a capacitor list on this thing and get them on order and just in case. But as you can see, the VR7500 uh, one inch machine, if you got one of these, yeah, it's not really gonna work that great unless you, it's got new capacitors and things are changed on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.